Hey guys, we're right here in Florida, Arbondale, Florida. How do you say Arbondale? Because I don't know how to say it. Arbondale. Arbondale, like that. Ashen Water Sports, they have plenty of kayaks. Look at this. Lots of kayaks. All kinds of kayaks. Wait, 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 wait. You said this is your favorite? This is one of my favorites, yes. What is wrong with you? Nothing. <laughs> I, I just like it. I like the 360 seat. For me, when I think of fishing, um, I've always fished on John boats, so I like to I like the swivel seat to them. So when I feel like I'm fishing on the water, you know, maybe I don't want to fish straight all the time. I want to turn a little bit, fish to the side, come back this way, fish over here. I love the 360 seat on these. I also like the fact that it's really wide and I can walk around pretty much in it. I don't feel like I'm tippy. I feel like I have a lot of room I can get around. And Alex's favorite part. Could have put a motor on the back of this there you right go. here. Built in. Boom. Yep. And you could also put a pedal drive on it, like we were saying earlier. Yep. But if I had to make you choose between this one and one of my favorite over there, <laughs> which one would you pick? You got one second. Ugh. I, you know, the old, I like the old town with the with the spot lock. Well, not the old town. Not that the... would be an easy yeah. answer. Old town is the answer. I'm talking about that one over there, the Pelican Catch. The oh. amazing Pelican Catch. See, I, I like the Pelican too, but I st my heart lands here. My This is where my heart lands. I just... Because this is like more of a boat, like a yeah. jump boat. More of a John boat for me. Alright guys, so right here we got the new canoe, Frontier 10. This boat has been out for a decade? If that, I don't know. But it's, it's, it's been a long time. But not with the new seat. Not the new seat. Show them the, the new seat. The right? swivel, the 360 seat. So you can be sitting here while you're controlling your motor if you put the little motor in the back. Um, and you definitely around. need a motor for this. Yeah, and you can and you can slide this seat on the tracks anywhere along the way, but it's very very stable in the water. Um, but it's 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 in that range of the pocket the pocket fisherman. But, okay, so here's the thing. Like this boat, we know of this boat forever. Ten foot boat, like 41 inches wide, maybe 40. Uh, designed to take a motor on the back, and pretty much to to use a motor on it, and you get a 360 seat. Yep. Now nobody care about this. The Pelican the Catch came up and everybody went wow. And it's pretty much the same idea. And you saw a lot of kayaks. However, I wanna... this is a rotor mold and that's a blow mold. So you know the blow. You know when you're talking Pelican, you're talking a blow mold, which is a is a lesser quality. I'm not a lesser quality, but it's not as heavy duty as it, a true rotor mold. It depends so, how much plastic they they put on this place. A rotor mold is heaviest duty we're gonna find. But some areas is difficult to do well, so it, yeah. they have their pros and cons. But like. What is your opinion of this boat? If you need a small, compact boat that you can put a motor on, even for a big guy, this will this will fill the bill. It's not going to be one you can paddle great if you if you plan on paddling it very far. But if you're going to motor it, it's fine. But I like the small size for small fishing areas. If you have a small pond, a small area, it's because it's not that heavy of a boat comparatively to some of the other boats around at 10 feet you know it's, it's going to be a little bit lighter than some of the big big monsters out there show me more of the boat like some of the specs i see we got rail tracks everywhere you have the rail all the way down the both sides of the boat that's true so you can add the like the omega rod holders or the the cup holder is very popular the yeti cup holder on the side from yak attack that's what we use mostly yak attack gear they have a little hatch here in the front and it's got a little bag that you can, it's removable. It's removable? Yeah, it's oh, a nice. removable bag so you can clean it out. And uh, it's a deep, it's a deep, it'll actually store a lot of, a lot of items for as small of a hatch as, as it is. Um, they got the rod tip protectors right here. So if you lay your rods in the side, the tips can, can lay here on the inside. And um, so the weeds don't pull them off of the boat when you're traveling. <laughs> you got a 360 seat. This one yeah. comes with the seat, right? Yeah, this one, this is all come with the seat. So this boat um, is uh, $14.49 retail. Our sale price on it is $13.95. Um, but it is a true rotor mold boat. This is a 2022 model. And um, they have a drain plug here in the top. The carry handles. Built in, and built in mount. This rod mold, the angle. Uh, uh, right here, you can add the motor. Yep. And this hole right here, you could use uh, a cart. So they, yeah, they I have don't a special cart, but you can also use their wilderness right. systems carts. This seat could go all the way forward, all the way yeah, back. Anywhere you want it. If you have a motor and you, you need to trim it, you could do that. Train plug, like you said. Oh, it comes with a scoper plug. So yeah. yeah, they give you a couple scoper plugs with this yeah. one. You got two of them. Now, I see some yeah, extra stuff here. Is this for their pedal drive system that they have? Yeah, they offer 
some sort of the, the pedal drive. I don't have it currently now, but that's what these these are set up for it. So that will be release and turning and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And they have attachments in many places. They also say, I don't know if they, they should do it for this one too, but you could put a plate here and put an iPilot unit if you want to do that. Like you could turn this thing into a little boat. You could put a 2.5 right here in the back because it's rated for a 2.5 outboard and you could put an iPilot unit in the front. Then it'd be really decked out. And it's super decked out and then you get a 360 seat. Now, I think maybe one of the reasons why, now that I think about it, why they went crazy for that one because that one over there is only $1,000. Yep. Yep, that's a thousand dollar boat, so it's it's affordable. This yeah, this one has more money. But we should do a video talking about rotor molded versus yeah. thermoform. This, yeah. This because blow that, molded. That's what blow thermal. molded. But that allows you to put fun in places where you can with this and also the the sheet of plastic is about the same with everywhere. Well these if they don't do it right, if they had impurities, they may have issues. With the hell. I'm I've, not talking I, about this over one. Over the in course of the years, I've I've had much better luck with true roto molded kayaks, having less issues than a blow mold. Well, because what about the Hobie's? Um, I forgot. That once in a while, some of the, the the oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the passport series. Yeah, the passport. Yeah, but that's it's still it's that's what the price is difference. So a f the 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 blow mold material thermal form is going to be a lot less expensive than the roto mold material but isn't that because it's faster to produce or because it's i think it's i think it's less expensive material because the cost of this is a petroleum product yeah. and the cost is the cost of oil and gas rises believe it or not so that's what makes the plastic more expensive but it's more heavy duty in the in the long run for instance the rental companies we sell rental kayaks all over the state they they won't rent these type of kayaks because they were they wear out quicker on the bottom if people drag them yeah. Where the rotomold kayaks, that's what they're asking for, for the more heavy duty use. Now the only drawback is these may be a little heavier, but they're a more they're heavy duty kayak. So there's, you know, you have you have advantages and disadvantages of both. It's it's gonna come down to a personal preference. If you don't use your kayak very often and not using it a lot, then a blow mold is probably gonna work just fine for you. But if you fish it every weekend and you're 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 gonna use it on rocks and other things. Definitely when you're looking for a kayak, I look for something that's a true rotomold kayak. Um, and also I'm a partial to the Made in America products. <laughs> well, they that put, one's made in Canada. <laughs> they put... Uh, Isn't is Canada America? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but... <laughs> See, he started putting this. These are the new Canoe Unlimited, but he put Made in the USA on the boats. So, Excellent boat. Yeah. Unlimited. Hard to paddle, but you're not going to buy that to paddle it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So let me show you guys a little bit how it looks um, underneath. If you want to see that, this boat is super stable. Look at that. You got those channels, and it also tracks very well. Let me show you the back. It's pretty much the same design as the 12, just a little smaller. Maybe a m few minor stuff. Let's put that one and this one side by side and let's compare them right now.